It's working. Hello there. Today we are going to start from a dated, old-fashioned, kind of ugly place. And we are going to end with a cool, edgy motion piece. Follow me on this because this mindset is going to blow your mind. Hey. <laughs> Series by Hulk 79. Well, 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 here we are with a text set in Times New Roman, super ugly impact, this, this typeface is, is really something, and then a black letter gothic kind of <laughs> super old school, so we are going to turn all these three into cool animated pieces. So let's start uh, with this one here. Uh, it's, it's not needed to say that we are here in Cavalry, which is at the end a graphic design tool with a timeline. That means that we have animation capabilities here, but at the end for me, this is a straightforward graphic design tool. So I think we are going to go here into the deformers, but yeah, before that, let's see how we can do with the traditional, let's say, uh, text or type adjustments. For example, these kind of typefaces, they seem to work better when uh, the kerning is very tight, you know, this is uglier so to say so it feels more like a block something like this uh, so yeah let's go into the deformers and i think i'm going to tweak it so that it feels modern by applying a voxelized deformer so this is this thing where something kind of old has this digital twist in this case very low fi so we can push this to see where the readability limits are. So the bigger the pixel size, the most difficult it is to read it. So maybe something like this is cool, you know, like we are kind of... So we can disable the effect and enable again to check how cool this was. And then the voxels case, we have start, if we decrease this value, we can have like these gaps here, which are cool. So the second way, and for me, maybe the most important way or the most successful way to turn something old into something cool could be with the color palette. So let's change the background. Uh, for example, let's give the letters this cool uh, <laughs> yellow color that's fantastic uh, very low contrast here but we are aiming for something cool not something super readable I'm going to make the typeface bigger with the font size and that means that needs to be realigned and also maybe if we click twice in the voxelize, I'm going to start tweaking these two. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to close a little bit the tracking here so that they are like super tight together, the letters. And to add some motion here, I'm going to go to the deformers and I'm going to add an oscillator here and if you click the space bar you hit the space bar you see how trippy strange this is so we are losing the letters here too much but if we open here the deformers and we change the order of things you can see like if the oscillator is applied before the voxelize it is still readable but kind of cool so yeah you you see if we disable the effects here we came from something like this let's give it the original colors into something way cooler 
so that was only like two effects here but the key was like okay this is something this typeface is something super old so let's see if we can give it like this kind of pixelated digital look like this and then with a little bit of motion it really feels like something so that was the first one like black letter gothic old school letters into something really really cool so let's go for so let's go for the next one so let's go after impact and this is this is ugly uh, let's click twice here and it feels a little bit better visually when it the kerning or the tracking is very tight so the letters are very close together and uh, think that I'm going to do something visually that I like which is I'm going to change the feel for white and then I'm going to give it a black stroke and I'm going to go back here into the tracking uh, or the spacing, character spacing, that's tracking I'm going to close it a lot I'm going to make it way bigger and I'm going to close it ag again and this is a look that I really like you know like letters overlapping in a in an interesting way visually uh, I think the initial letter needs to be also lowercase that makes it cooler and that can be it let's go to the deformers and let's say that we give it mm, a wave effect uh, let's click here and play with this yeah, and this is cool. Maybe I like the strength should be less. And we can animate this. Just a number of waves, for example. At the beginning 65 and then here at frame 60 could be one. So yeah, that's cool. So <laughs> that was quick. So here we are with Times New Roman, this text, is, it is a little bit more challenging because it is longer. So yeah, serif fonts, they are kind of hype these days. So people are doing things like this, like stretching them and stuff like that. But I think we are going to go after running it through a path, maybe. So. Let's create a rectangle, let's make it way bigger here in the size controls and I'm going to click twice on the text and if you go down you can drop it into the text path here and we can hide the text so that's one super easy way to make this uh, times New Roman way cooler so let's play with the rectangle size to make it smaller and now I'm going to increase the size of the letters so it is a matter of playing with those two things the size of the rectangle here and then the size of the letters so also we can still play with the tracking that's the character spacing and all the other parameters of our typography so maybe time is on your side kinda I like it because it kind of plays with the meaning of this phrase uh, I like this a lot so maybe I'm going to grab the direct selection tool here the white cursor and I'm going to change the very shape of this rectangle it is asking me if I want to make it editable so it's not going to be a rectangle anymore that's a yes for sure and I think I need to drop it here again yep and now 
I can play with it more freely, so to say. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to get rid of the field so that it is easier to play with this. And this way I can make a super interesting composition very freely. Uh, I'm going to move it down a little bit. And that's great. If I would like to animate this, would be something as easy as playing with the path travel, the path travel here. So yeah, third kind of boring old school text now is very cool so yeah i hope you liked this tutorial remember that i have this buy me a coffee web page you have the link below here thanks for watching this and see you in the next one Kinetic Kinetic series. Series by hulk 79